Edible splines, the geometry rollout, detach button. Here I have a circle spline. And I'm going to pick on it and right click and I can convert it to an editable spline. Now, in the editable spline over here, I'm going to hit the plus sign. And this detach button is only available with the segments and the spline sublevels. So I'm going to go on the segment sublevels. And I'm going to come over and pick on a particular segment. Now I have that segment highlighted. I want to come down into my geometry rollout and go to detach. So I'm going to hit detach. It's going to come up and say, hey, detach as shape 001. And I might just type in, say, arc or something like that, just so I know what that is. I'll say, OK. And notice it created the new object over here. So when I pick on this object, this is a separate object now. When I pick on this circle, this is the circle. So this part here was detached from the circle. So now I end up with two different named objects. Okay. So the detach button only works at the at the segment level and at the spline level. And it will actually detach that from the actual object and make a new independent shape out of it.